All right, good afternoon, Arkansas. This is Sister Chief Forecaster coming back here once again. I'm here to give you guys a video blog on Where's the Cold Air. That's the title of this video blog is Where's the Cold Air. Um, and I'm also going to talk to you guys about what's going on with the pattern. And I'm here to give you guys a little bit of hope by the time we can get towards 2022 in terms of cold air. Winter weather, I can't guarantee right now, but at least some colder air coming our way as we get towards January here. But... Um, here's the first thing we're looking at here. Now, you're looking at this graphic, and uh, you're going to see this. You're going to be like, okay, I'm not going to watch this video. Um, I highly recommend you watch this video because it's going to tell you all you need to know about what the cold air, what the pattern has been, etc. Because uh, we've been getting a lot of questions in, especially on our forecast, etc. Where's the cold air? You know, when is it going to be here? When is it going to be here and stay here, etc. So, um, to tackle that last question, when is it going to get here and stay here? That's never going to happen here in Arkansas. I mean, it happens whenever we have one of those big Arctic outbreaks, et cetera, but you never get true sustained cold air here in Arkansas. It always, the temperature is always going to verify here. Okay, very, not verify, very here in Arkansas. So if you want that true cold air, you got to go up north. you got to go up to the northern plains. That's where you have the constant cold air, uh, cold air up there. And even then, this year, you've seen temperatures up there in the 60s and 70s. So... This is what's been going on, folks, okay? So what you're looking at here is the AO index, and this is the Arctic Oscillation Teleconne Teleconnection Index. Basically, in the layman's terms, you have your negative and you have your positive. Where have we been for much of the month of December is in this positive phase. This is if you don't want cold air, and this is if you want cold air, okay? So cold air is negative, no cold air is positive, okay? So... As you can see, in November, we've had a couple of spells of some colder air, nothing major. You know, November was relatively quiet for us here in Arkansas. And then as soon as we went into the positives in first half of December, and I was telling you guys first half of December that we'll have to look out for potential severe weather, because what happened is you had troughing across the western half of the country. Basically, what troughing is, it's like an upper-level jet stream out west, and what that does, it forces colder air down into the western half of the country, and it forces warmer air across the eastern half of the country. So you have that clash. You have that cold air, warm air clash that normally results in severe weather. And unfortunately, during this period, that date, that December 1st through December 6th time frame, we had the, you know, the severe weather outbreak of December 10th. So that's what kind of resulted in it, because your AO was kind of in its positive phase, and it helped get the troughing out west. So what's going to be happening is we get towards later in the month, we go down into its negative phase, okay? So this does not guarantee that you will see cold air. You need other variables to come into place. But this is a, a pretty good start. This is a really good start, okay? So we get late into the, late into the month and into the first half of January. That's where you see it really go into its negatives, okay? So you need it to be where it is down here, your negative threes, your negative fours, your negative fives, because that really helps out in terms of getting the cold air down here and towards our neck of the woods here. All right, you don't need it going back in its positive, because if it gets back in its positive, then you're not going to see any cold air um, anytime soon here. So that's just one variable. This is the uh, Northern American Oscillation uh, Index, and basically it's the same thing as the Arctic Oscillation in, in, in comparison. If it's in its positive phase, you're not going to see any cold air. If it's in its negative, then that's when you will see the cold air here. So you can see, that's the before, first half of December, we've been where we're neutral, and it's you see is slightly positive, okay? And now we're going back down to negative. Now, I think right around that 27, 28 time frame, we may go back to its positive. So that's an area that I'm watching for severe weather. Uh, but I think by that point, we should go back into its negative by the time we get towards the first day of 2022 so we'll have to watch it closely here but i'm looking right now i'm looking at that january 4th january 5th time frame uh for the potential of seeing our, our first true cold air shot down here in arkansas but we'll we'll, we'll watch it closely over um the, the next week or so here now this is our biggest factor here in arkansas and this is what's called the pacific northern american telecon teleconnection um, index or teleconnection pattern or basically in layman's terms in positive phase it supports ridging out west in its negative phase it supports troughing so 
basically you would get something like this, and I can draw it out, because I know it's kind of confusing, um, but basically it represents this. So Arkansas, say for example, Arkansas is right here, okay? Troughing out west, ridge here. That supports southwest flow, and suddenly winds. That, so, that results in severe weather here in Arkansas, okay? Let's see if I can get this off the screen, okay? When it's in its positive phase, it represents ridging. Out west, and what when and I tell you guys all the time when you see me in these uh, cold these cold air blogs, what goes up, let's come down, okay? And then you have your southeast ridge, Arkansas is here, and that represents cold air coming down into our neck of the woods again across much of the central and eastern half of the country here. So that's what you have to watch very closely as we get towards late in the month and into the first the I would say the first two weeks of January. Uh, we'll have to watch for the potential of cold air coming out of the woods here. So hopefully this kind of explains it. Um, and you can see, and, and we've been, and this is the reason why, another reason why we've had severe weather, okay? When it's in its pauses, you've hardly seen, I mean, in even in October, you've hardly seen it gone to its, its positives, and it stays in its positives for a short period of time, and it's back down to negative. negative. It's positive, back down to negative. Positive, really negative. You can see the December 10th time frame, okay? when it was in its negative phase. So that supported troughing out west, and that's what supported severe weather here. And unfortunately, it was not right here. So that's what really supported the severe weather. And then, as you can see, it's still in its negative phase by the time we get towards late in the month here. But what happens is it goes in negative, and it goes right up into its positive. So I think by this point, we should be at least working our way towards seeing some cold air here in Arkansas. So... With that being said, let's talk about your CPC t um, temperature outlook here. So, don't need to remind you, I'm pretty sure you've seen it all across social media, above normal for the next 6 to 10 days across Arkansas. This means a very, very warm Christmas. We're talking temperatures in the 70s, low 80s here in Arkansas. Um, it's going to be very warm, very spring-like. You can see where your colder air is, bottled to the west. Remember I was telling you before, with a negative P&A, that's what you... That's what you see, okay? Troughing out west, okay? And a ridging across our neck of the woods here. Now, our friend is this. When when Alaska starts going into above normal, that will be our best friend because that means ridging is going into Alaska, and that means that this colder air that's across the west will eventually move out into the central and eastern half of the country here. So I'm looking for that probably the first two weeks of January, okay? Then the 8 to 14 day, all right? 8 to 14 days, you can see, the ridge is beginning to get squashed across our neck of the woods here. So that's why I'm saying between that December 28, 29th time frame and January 4th, look out for potential severe weather, okay? I, I, I think we will see another round of severe weather across our neck of the woods here. Now, with that being said, once that ridge breaks down, that's where I'm gonna start seeing that cold air. But until we get this ridge to break down, you have to assume that we will see severe weather as we get towards late this month, early January. Now, I don't want anyone taking that and running with it, you know, saying that it's gonna be an outbreak and all that, okay? It just means that you have to look out for it, okay? There's several guidance, several um, people that agree with that same terminology. You know, you have to break down that ridge in order to get the cold air here. So, as you can see, a lot of warm air still hanging around the southern plains, the southeastern half of the country, and you can see your colder air trying to make its way down in Arkansas. But this will be our best friend, okay? Above normal across Alaska, something we have not seen so far this season. That will be our best friend as we get towards late this month in the early January here. So I'm basically in this. It's going to be about a 10-minute blog. Um, but you can see here, so this is the GFS for example, okay? And I hate using GFS long range, but you can see what I'm talking about here. So as we get towards late in the month, okay, you see your persistent ridging across the southeast half of the country, and your cold air is still bundled up across the western half and the northern half of the country. Now, we take it past 240 hours out, GFS starts connecting with the pattern here. So I think right around that 28, 29 time frame, we'll have to watch out. And I think around that January 3rd, January 4th time frame, we'll have to watch that as well, if trends hold. I don't like using GFS this long range. However, we'll have to watch it closely here. So you can see, 
what happens is by the time we get towards January 4th, that colder air makes it out into Arkansas. We warm up, and then a bigger surge coming in as we get towards January here. So January right now, I'm thinking personally, is when you're going to start seeing the colder air here in Arkansas. So the warm air can't last forever. I promise you guys, we will have a chance of winter. You just got to be patient. Patience, and I told, I told one of my followers this the other day, patience is the number one key whenever you're dealing with it, on not only winter weather, but colder as well. It's very, very, it takes a very, very long time to get colder down this far south. But when it happens, it happens. So we'll continue to keep you guys updated right here in your source for all things Arkansas weather.